We traveled to Uzbekistan, located just below Kazakhstan. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where I competed at an international strongman games. <laughs> and at the same time, explored the amazing culture Uzbekistan has to offer. Uzbekistan is located in Central Asia and has a strong history. Back in the 2nd century, the nation was a pivotal part of the Silk Road. This passage ran from China to Europe, connecting the East to the West. This was a way to transport political information as well as goods such as gems and silk, given the name the Silk Road. This made the nation very wealthy, but also very vulnerable to the people of power, leading to invasions from leaders such as Alexander the Great, but most famously, in the 14th century, Amir Tuma took control. Until this day, Tuma is considered a national hero. But a century ago, in 1924, the nation joined the Soviet Union. But on the 31st of August 1991, Uzbekistan declared its independence. I competed in Uzbekistan back in 2018 and instantly fell in love with the place. From the culture, the people, to the food and breathtaking views, it had it all. So when I got an invitation back, I brought my good friend and filmmaker Mitch to showcase not only what it's like to compete as a strongman, but to show the pure beauty and culture Uzbekistan has to offer. We travelled from Australia to Tashkent, Uzbekistan, where we met up with the other competitors. We then took our flight to Kiva, a city the Silk Road once ran through centuries ago. We were greeted in Kiva by a traditional welcoming party. We then visited the biggest Amir Tima statue in Uzbekistan. The horse towers over the city of Kiva, showing the impact Tima has on the people of Uzbekistan. We rested up before we headed down to the competition's opening ceremony. Rongo Kin, wow, wow. Mitchell Barrett, Larry, and Rongo. 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 It's ritual for me before competition, day of competition, to get up early before anyone else and clear my mind and prepare myself for the day. Now, it is a two-day competition, seven to eight events over two days. A lot of emotions going on right now because it has been a while since I've competed and I'm here on my own. Today we have to start strong because seven events is a lot of events. We only got our events last night. Now, some of the events I haven't done for a very long time, but that's competition, 
but I think that's what makes it exciting. That's why our sport is so exciting, is to be a strong man, you must be able to turn up on the day and do your job. That's pure strength, I believe. I'm nervous, I ain't gonna lie, but that's the beauty of it. I know when that whistle blows, I'll be there, I'll be present, the warrior will be present. <sighs> and it's time, let's go. This is Ai Chan Kala, an inner town of Kiva and is made up of restored traditional Muslim architecture and is where we will be mainly competing over the next two days. <laughs> So the weight of the heavier one, 120, weight from of the lighter is 90. We start with the lighter weight. We start with the lighter weight. Carry, carry light here, boom, then large one back. Second one was hard. It slipped halfway, my bad. Wasn't holding it properly, but glad to finish it. I love Kiva. Bring me here all the time. We're out. You have one minute, 60 seconds to do as many reps as you can. You need to tell me what weight you will start. 250 or 320. You must let me know. Wake up! Wake up! Hush! Grab it! 
Thank you, brother. Good job. Thank you. Good For the second half of day one, we ventured two hours inland to a special lake. Representing Kyrgyzstan, Muhammad Tokamada. Oh, 
Yeah, was like a throw far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, good ball. Good, good distance. You know, maybe we're only a metre out. Oh, sorry. Good distance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on. Big mark. You ready? Yep. You ready? Yep. Come here. You're nothing. Goose! You're in the dirt! I put it right in! Get the ball, Shola! He's getting it, Osh! Get it! He's done the ball, Shola! Get it, get it! He's done the ball, Shola! Hundred percent, just rip. Wow, that is a wrap of day one of uh, competition here in Kiva. Now today, honestly, competitions like this, where you travel international and you go to real communities like this, is totally different than your normal show. Most shows, you go to a venue, you do all your events inside in the same place. When you come to places like this, you go to different locations. This morning, we had two events in the main city of Kiva. Then we had lunch and travelled two hours inland to this beautiful, beautiful lake that is special to the people. This is the first competition for me for the year and it's late in the year, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie, it's late in the year to, to start competing now and I ain't gonna lie man, it's tested me today, uh, physically and mentally because we've been, we've been out for like 10 hours now uh, travelling and competing and that's not normal. But. Being here today reminded me of why I love this sport and not only just for competition but you know the camaraderie amongst all the brothers, you know the brotherhood out there. You see a brother down, you pick him back up, you know. We've got a lot of experienced athletes here but we also got another, uh, uh, you know, a couple of locals and new up and comers. So for me man, it's sparked that, it's sparked that fire back in me to, to one, keep doing the sport but also why I love the sport. <sighs> So man, it's been a rough day. We're all battered and bruised. That's the good thing. No excuses here. And I never make excuses, neither do the boys. Like we're all in the bus. We're all in the hot 36 degree heat with our feet burning in the deadlift. Now we've got to get back on the bus and travel two hours back to Kiva. It's late in the evening. It's nearly 7 p.m. But that is the wrap for day one, man. Appreciate you all. We got another day tomorrow, which brings new challenges and a new battle. We'll see you there. Oh, 
Ladies and gentlemen, from Kyrgyzstan, Muhammad Ali Tokan Matov. Kırgızistan vakili bir metr koyu. 2496. 20 meters. I'm upset. About the ecology, about the saving the water. As you know, I was, just I was moving well, but my arms couldn't hold it. I've been having problems with my arms since yesterday. And I tried to block the pain out, but all the way through that, it was screaming to the end there. I couldn't even hold my arms up. Some I'm, I'm upset because this is the event I needed to catch up on points. And the anchor is just a symbol of this natural disaster. So we creating but this challenge was to raise the awareness about the importance of caring about this is what happens on the day anything can go wrong and it's gone wrong. Water. That's the most important message. We want to give We've got two more events, so I need to get my mind challenge. up for that part. And we have two more challenges. The high temp in 15 minutes. I move fast, but I just couldn't hold it. And then, Please, so I have to right go ask my arm, we'll figure it uh, out. To the Calta uh, Minor and on the left side. It's very exciting. It will be two.
Whatever you don't get that phone call. Whatever they hear you say, huh? Ready? Boo! Ah! One more time. Boo! Ah! All right. Thank you for having us.
50 seconds. One minute. One minute. One minute and twenty seconds. One minute thirty. One Longer. minute forty seconds. Longer clear. That sets the record of the night. What's the record? One minute forty. What's the record? Hold it. Hold it. Five more seconds. Five more seconds. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Run, go, run, go, run, go, run, go, run, go. It is the end of competition. We've been here in Kiva, Uzbekistan for the last two days, battling it out with some of the best athletes in the world. It's been an emotional roller coaster. Reason being, it's my first competition of the year. What better way, guys, than to do it on the other side of the world in a place like this, Kiva, full of culture. What's amazing is it reminds me of my own culture, how the people, they're welcoming, they're loving, but their culture is strong and they hold on to that. It wasn't my day today. I did my very best, but the good thing about this, guys, is I can go back home and I can be better. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I love you all. Thank you for joining us on this journey. We'll see you on the next one. Much love, the warrior.